There we go. Uh oh, there he is. There he is. There's our guy. There's our guy. There is our guy, ladies and gentlemen. What's up guys? We are back here at the spot where I first fished when I got down here to Louisiana. The old nasty gar on the bank hole. I have about an hour and a half to kill um, before me and Jared go back out and do some more fishing this afternoon. So I figured I would just run back over here because it's really close to his house and uh, I wanted to try to catch some more catfish. So when I first got here, I noticed that the water was a good bit lower and that the gar carcasses were still here, but they weren't in the water. So all the maggots and stuff weren't in the water. So what I did, I just took this, this big old thing right here. I'm gonna grab the clean side. I grabbed this board and I just went over here to the pile and I just pushed some guts out into the water and I pretty much just simulated the same environment that we had yesterday. I've got all the maggots out here swirling around. There's already bluegill. I mean, right back here behind me. Let me turn this camera out so let me show you guys. Look at this. I've got a feeding frenzy going on right here. Right in the middle of your screen, I've got bluegill going crazy on the little maggots. I'm hoping that just the nasty, like, chum, nasty stuff from the uh, catfish is going to bring in some catfish. So I've got, like I said, an hour and a half to kill. I'm going to stay out here and uh, toss some night crawlers around and see if we can't get some fish on the bank. Hopefully get some catfish, but if not, we'll at least catch some blue because they are going insane right now. Look at this. Right. Well, they were, I think I scared them. There he is. It almost looks like a, a farm pond with the feeder just went off. Anyways, we're gonna get our hook baited up with some worms and see what we can't catch back here in this canal behind us. I think it's really about to go down, guys. I've got a little piece of worm on here. The bluegill are going buck wild. They weren't going crazy when I first got here. Um, I slid those worms, there we go. Oh, shoot. I slid those uh, maggots out here and I mean, they are happy. They are some happy bluegills. My night crawler isn't exactly a good, oh, mimic. How am I missing these fish? I mean, there's so many fish going off right now. I'm sure y'all can see them. They're everywhere. How's my bait not getting eaten? It's fixing to. It's fixing to. Eat my juicy night crawler. There we go. Oh, I lost him. I honestly should just grab them maggots and bait them up on the hook, but that's just that's just nasty. That's just kind of nasty, guys. There we go. That's a big one. Oh no, he ain't. On the board. Little bluegill. The ones, a lot of these ones I'm seeing surface are much bigger than this one, but still a good start. They're really pretty out here in this canal. Oh, there he goes. They're very golden in color. Guess another piece of night crawler. I'm trying to leave them kind of chunky so that when the catfish show up, they'll they won't be able to resist it. And we're back in the juice. Look at all these fish. These are all bluegill jumping. I think all this bluegill surfacing is going to lure in some catfish also. I think that was part of um, what was going on yesterday. All these bluegill just surfacing, jumping around. But you know those catfish are eating those maggots too. Look at all these fish out here, guys. All bluegill. They're all eating the maggots. They are some happy fish. Hey, I did this for y'all. <laughs> That's crazy. There we go. Oh, they keep coming off. I wonder why they keep coming off. That's, oh, we got the catfish coming in. There's a catfish right there. Here come the catfish. Oh, it might be a catfish right there too. That looked like a catfish swirl. That one right there was definitely a catfish swirl out in front of us. Oh, got him. There's a big one. There's a big male bluegill. Pretty good fish right there, guys. That'd be a keeper any day of the week. I have a cooler with me. I was thinking about keeping some catfish if we got on them. I also have a stringer, but I don't think I'm gonna put a stringer out right here just because we had, the, we had some gators out here yesterday. I'm not worried about the gator coming up here to me, but I don't really want him to take my fish if I, if I catch some. <laughs> but we'll just see. Uh oh, uh oh, what is this? I think it's a bluegill. It's just a big old bluegill. For a second, I was like, do I have a catfish finally? But it's just a big old bluegill. Look how bright red his chest is. These guys are just built like tanks. I don't know why they keep flipping off the hook. It's kind of weird how they keep flopping off like that. That's okay. 
I'm seeing some of these fish carcasses down here that I drag out here. They're wiggling around. I think there's some blue crabs on them. I wish I would have thought to have brought a, a crab trap down because I could have thrown some of these carcasses in a trap and got some blue crabs, caught some bluegill, maybe caught a blue catfish. We could have caught it all down here. Another bluegill. Stop it. I mean, even these smaller ones are chunky. Huh. There's a bite. Eat it. Eat it. They're just nibbling it. They shouldn't nibble it. They should just eat it. There we go. Uh oh, there he is. There he is. There's our guy. There's our guy. There is our guy, ladies and gentlemen. That is the fish we are after. That is a big one. That looked like a big old catfish. Ooh, please stay on, baby. Finally, the catfish are up in here. That honestly didn't take that long. That was about 15 minutes ago whenever I pushed them guts out. Maybe 20 minutes. And we got ourselves what appears to be a channel catfish. Look at that drag go, baby. It's so much fun catching them on this light setup. Because they're not too big where I can't handle them. They're just big enough where I can have fun catching them. I mean, this is, a, this is a solid catfish. Come here. Is he a channel or a blue? It's channel. Channel catfish on the boat. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Well, look at that, guys. We got our first channel catfish of the afternoon, and it is a studly one. This one here is probably four pounds or so. Got a pretty big head. That is so cool. I'm really thinking about keeping him, guys. I might run back to my truck and grab my cooler. And I might just time to a stringer. It'd probably be okay. But that is awesome. I was really hoping the catfish would show up. I've seen a few swirls that look like catfish. And this is just proof that my plan worked. <laughs> that is awesome. That was so much fun catching him. Okay, I'm going to either figure out about keeping him or I'm going to let him go. I just need a second to decide. But that is awesome. That is what we came for. Okay, so I just found a little piece of discarded rope. It's not very long, but it's long enough to make a stringer out of. So I just tied a loop on this end, got this end open. I'm gonna run it through this dude. Got my catfish tied up onto this thing. And then there's these boxes out here that are pretty heavy. I'm just gonna tie them to one of these boxes, one of these crates. They're kind of nasty, but I don't think he's gonna pull it off into the lake. Yeah, we're good. We've got a catfish and if we don't catch any more, we'll throw them back. It should be fine. We'll keep our eyes out for gators. Maybe one will show up, maybe one won't. I haven't seen any today, but they don't really mean nothing. Okay, let's get another piece of worm on this hook and see if we can catch a couple more of these catfish. Got him. Oh, it's a little catfish. There we go. There's our second catfish. So we started off catching all bluegill, and now the last two fish we've caught have been catfish. This one here is just a smaller guy. He's right here on this, uh, this little pile of gar guts. There's a big catfish right there, guys. I see a big catfish. I can see him with my eyeballs. Okay, we're gonna throw this little fiddler channel cat back before he stabs me. I had a boat just come through here. They're throwing a wake. Maybe that wake will get some fish excited too. We've also got some more uh, gar that we can push out. There's plenty of maggots up here on the bank. It is pretty stanky up here. So if we want to get another feeding frenzy going, we could definitely push some more out. But I think I'm just gonna let it kind of sit as is for a moment. Ooh. Got you. Back on the bluegill train. I'm seeing some catfish swirl over there, so I wouldn't be surprised if one of our next couple of bites ends up being a catfish. And we're doing most of their swirling when I was over here last over on that side too, for whatever reason. That's a little bit better one. Looks like another female bluegill. You can tell it's a female. So they're kind of just more of that yellow, yellowy green color.
Got him. There's another big catfish, or another decent catfish. Stay on. Stay on. He's got a second one. He was doing cartwheels all over the top of the water. He's not as big as our first one, but he's good on them garb. He's gonna get snagged by them gar. Boat flip. Yes, sir. That's my first catfish I've caught over there. All right. Well, now that we got two, we're definitely gonna take them home. That is awesome. I mean, such, I mean, again, just the craziest place. We got this catfish, we got this pile of gar. And without this pile of gar, I don't think any of this is possible. Because we got all the maggots, we got all the bait fish, we got the bluegill popping, stirring up a scene. And these catfish are just in here, just feasting away themselves. There's all sorts of other little tiny bait fish I think are also getting drawn in. It's awesome. Okay, bringing us up some more crawler. So it's kind of weird. I'm finding they like this, uh, this lighter side of the nightcrawler, more the bottom piece. I'm not really getting as many bites in that top juicy head piece. And it's probably because of the color. It's because this color mimics the uh, the maggot so well. And then you see it, it kind of has a little more action in the water too whenever I'm twitching it. I'm gonna go right back over there where I caught that one. Catfish, a lot of times will swim together in schools. We'll just see if there's another one over there hanging out. I cast it over there originally because I had seen a swirl and it looked like a catfish swirl. Oh. Oh, how did I miss that fish? That was a, definitely a catfish. Oh my goodness, he smoked it. My hook is a little bit small. I think that's caused me a little bit of issues on hookup on these catfish. But when you get the hook in them, they don't tend to come off. Catfish are a species of fish that are hard to lose once you hook them. Guys, I've got a crab. Got him. I got him. There we go. <laughs> Don't pinch me. Ow. He pinched me. Oh, he's pinching me. I'm glad he's not a big crab. Oh, I'm glad this is not a big blue crab. I would love to catch some big blue crabs while I'm down here. Golly. He is getting me. I'm just going to let him go. I'm just going to let him go. Before he... Oh, gosh. You got both pinchers pinching me. Well. When in Louisiana, you catch blue crabs. Ouch. Whew. <laughs> that dude pinched so hard. Ah, the power of a blue crab is underrated. As blue crabs get like four, five times bigger than that. And that hurt pretty bad. There we go. There's another catfish. There's another catfish. I think I'm gonna throw some back though. He's a little small. Just a little bit small. You could definitely eat one this size, but I don't really want to keep anything smaller than that second one we caught. It's still cool to catch them though. Awesome little channel catfish. I don't have a whole lot more time left to fish here, but this has been such a good little spot to just come to and just kind of, you know, waste time while we're um, getting ready to go out in the main afternoon fishing sessions. But we got a little bit longer we can fish. Let's see if we can't get us another one. What is that thing? What the heck, is that a ladyfish? No way, it's a baby ladyfish. Look at this thing, guys. That is crazy, I haven't caught a ladyfish in so long. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Looks just like one, that is crazy. Huh, a baby ladyfish. I ought to cut that thing up and use it for bait. I really should. I'm gonna throw it back though. There we go. There we go. That's a good one. That's a decent one. Decent catfish right here, guys. He didn't even fight. We got him in quick. He bit the thing about as soon as it hit the water, too. There's just another good little keeper catfish. Three channel cats for us now. Add him on the strands, but he's a little bit smaller than our second one we got, but still he ain't bad. What is this? Oh, it's another crab. It got me another crab. I knew it was a crab. Here, this one here is, yeah, that's it. That one there ain't gonna pinch me. Oh, there he goes. The blue crabs bite the worm like a catfish does. Oh, 
oh gosh. I looked down for five seconds to check if my camera was rolling. And I'm glad it is because we got ourselves another catfish. I was like, where'd my bobber go? My bobber was so gone. That's another good one. We started off hot with that biggest one, but you can't complain with these little guys right here. Not bad. I'm gonna send this one back. We don't need a ton of fish. If I get another bigger one, I'll put it on there. But they're honestly kind of a pain to get on that stringer. That's awesome. All right, guys, we are back with you, and we're actually back home in Arkansas now. Had an amazing time down there fishing with Jared from outside the levees down there in South Louisiana. And I had a ton of fun fishing that spot down the road from him. You know that it was a crazy spot from the piles, the heaping piles of giant gar out there to what they were attracting in the water. It was just crazy how those fish were just turned on and in a complete feeding frenzy over those gar guts and maggots and just all that nasty stuff. But anyways, you know, it was kind of, it was kind of gross, but hey, I don't, I don't care as long as the fish are biting, which they were, it was just a lot of fun and unique and a very unique fishing spot. But with that being said, I've actually got the catfish here in this little bag. I got them all battered up in some, uh, some, some uh, breadcrumbs and I've got a deep fryer right down here in front of me. It's all heated up and we are going to throw them in there and see how they taste. I'm super hungry right now, so I'm excited to get this underway and see how they taste. Okay, pull this out a little catfish nug. I kind of separate them to where they're a little bit thinner, a little bit skinnier. Oh yeah. These will be tasty. I hadn't cooked fish and breadcrumbs in a long time until I had some, um, we had those cichlids down there with Jared and some breadcrumbs and they were delicious. So I decided to cook these catfish up in them. This is normal, just, I think they're garlic roasted breadcrumbs. But as y'all can see, we are cooking and it shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes and we're ready to taste them up. Okay, let's take a quick look. Ooh, those are looking pretty good. Oh, here comes the dogs. Hey, Jimbug. <laughs> Jimbug smelt those catfish. Those look nice. I'm gonna pull those out. So I also had some crappie in my fridge that needed to be cooked. So I got a few of those in these breadcrumbs too that I'm gonna cook up. And we'll do a little taste test between the two. Jenny, you okay? You hot? Are you hot girl? Are you a hot girl? Hey, Bug Bug, are you okay? Are you hot? You want some fish? You better stay back. Those aren't for you. Whoa, back up. Ooh, it's the slab queen. And the slab princess. And the slab princess. Hey, Summy. Your dress is so pretty. Thank you. Your dress is so pretty. Uh, Are you happy? You look you look content. I'm not sure if you're super happy, but you look content. I'm she getting a little tired. It's nap time, but uh, and meanwhile, she's hanging in there. We got Cypress slinging. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, even more importantly, look at the spread. We've got our catfish and crappie. These are our catfish. We've got some toasted buns. We got all of our stuff here to make the most delicious fish sandwich. And look at this giant tomato. It's massive. It's like bigger than Summer's head. Hold up next to her head. That is huge. We grew <laughs> that. We grew that in the Colin J garden. It's got a few little little nicks on it, but nothing yeah. too crazy. I mean, just like it's massive. It's got to be pushing. I mean, it's closer to two pounds than one pound. I think yeah. it is absolutely. Oh, yeah huge we've also got our first batch of pickles they made from the cucumbers we grew out there so those are going on the sandwich really excited about this so yeah we got tartar sauce tomato pickles some hot sauce only thing we're missing maybe is some lettuce but that's turtle food okay. who needs lettuce <laughs> the turtles down there ate all the lettuce but we're gonna build these sandwiches up and see how they taste i know they're gonna be good but i'm ready to see how good they are mm -hmm. okay we're gonna start building the sandwich up i'm gonna use the catfish fillets we cook the slabs because jay wanted to make some slappy patties I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna do the, I'm gonna put, yeah, we'll do three fillets on there. We're going big, mm. we're going big. Wow. Pile it on there. And then I'm just gonna add some pickles to the mix. Might get three or four on there. The more the merrier. I have to like do some hiding. Ooh, some dill, some fresh dill mixed in. Okay. And then we're gonna take some Old Bay hot sauce. This stuff is delicious. All right, that's all I'm doing. Keeping it simple, keeping it classy. I kind of like tomatoes. I also kind of don't like tomatoes. I just really like to grow them and everybody else really loves them. 
I haven't gotten to where I just love like a big old sliced tomato on my sandwich yet. Um, but I'm getting there. I prefer <laughs> to eat them. I really just prefer to eat them green. But uh, yeah, let's uh, smash this all down together. Yeah, that's what you like to hear. Take a look at it. Looks yummy. Oh yeah. It's fresh fried breadcrumb catfish on a sandwich. Let's go. Sounds crunchy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does it sound delicious? Yeah. It is. <laughs> I bet it is. I can't wait to get one. Mm. Man, that is really good. I'm gonna set it aside just for a second. So you can build yours up and so we can enjoy this together because i feel bad if i ate the whole thing with that you get your <laughs> chance to eat yours okay let's see what this big tomato looks like cut that part off yeah cut that part off oh man i think it's so meaty Mhm. Mm i don't want to get it like too thick yeah i might have to cut that off too i did give you the broken knife <laughs> yeah what's up with that it'd be all right i've been trying to throw this knife away for I know. We haven't figured out how to throw away a knife. We just throw it in the trash can. We're like, I have, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> <laughs> so it made a revival, and it's okay. still we're still getting some getting some work out of it. Mm. Hold it next to your head. That thing is so big. It's a big old tomato. It's massive. It's crazy. I am like Cole. Love tomatoes. Okay. Um, this one. Okay, she's Go going for this slabs. Crappy. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Gotta save room for my tomato. <laughs> Which, I need yeah. one of those like jumbo hamburger buns. I know. It would fit on there perfectly. I need some pickles. We're just like using our hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These will probably honestly all be gone today. All those pickles. Yeah, because the four of us. Yeah. Or I guess the three of us. Yeah, Summer doesn't, doesn't, eat, doesn't pickles. eat pickles. But Sai, oh my goodness. Sai like wakes up in the morning and he wants pickles for breakfast. He's a pickle man. <laughs> okay. I almost forgot. I gotta have tartar sauce. Am I grossing you out? No. <laughs> if it was mayonnaise, I'd be getting kind of grossed out. Cole doesn't like tartar sauce either. Okay. Oh, no. oh wow, that's nice. 360. Look at that. Ooh. We need his little turntables. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Mm. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Yeah. That is so good. Mm. While Jay's over here devouring the sandwich, I've got a slice of this tomato. See how it tastes. It looks really good. I mean, it looks good. I like these bigger, like, meatier beefsteak type tomatoes. I don't really like the cherry tomatoes that much. Definitely more of a fan of these, especially with a little bit of salt on it, but let's we'll go straight for it. Mmm. That's really good. That is a good tomato. Uh-oh, here comes the pickle, man. You want a pickle? Yes, I want pickle. Maybe she's got a haircut. Sorry, let's see your haircut. Can we see your haircut? Are you gonna get your own pickle? Yeah. Mmm. Are they good? Are mm -hmm. they delicious? Yes, I like it. You like yes, it? You like it. <laughs> your hair looks good, buddy. Cypress has had three haircuts now. We just kept getting, <laughs> you know, a little bit cut every time. His hair grows so fast. Yeah, it really does. He got more cut off this time, and he looks so cute. Looks like a little nerd, a little bit, but he looks good. Let me see, Sai. Let me see your hair. Ah, okay. whoa, don't fall. Hey, Cypress, are you the pickle man? Yeah. You're the you pickle are. man? <laughs> you are? You're the pickle man? <laughs> are you a nerd? He said, Mom, I'm not a nerd. No. He's, just because he watches the Einsteins all day <laughs> doesn't mean that he's a nerd. Yeah, you're a little bit of a nerd. I watch every <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> No, because you're crazy when you watch much TV. We cut you off. Mm -hmm. We cut him off, didn't we? Kind of. Kind of. Starting the day. I don't know I don't know what these. You want some hot sauce? You want to try the red one? Open no. up. Open up. Say, ah. Uh... No, 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 no. 
Well, with that, I think that that is where we're going to wrap up today's episode. We're going to sit out here, enjoy our pickles, enjoy our sandwiches, and just kick it for the rest of the day. It's supposed to be a really hot one, so I'm not sure how much fishing we're going to do today. Maybe we'll go out and do some this afternoon. I feel cold. What? Oh, your pickle's cold? <laughs> maybe eat some, maybe enjoy some, maybe just sit inside and enjoy cold pickles all day. I don't know. But anyways, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Had a lot of fun down there fishing for those catfish and bluegill down there in Louisiana. There's still a lot of fishing down there that needs to be done. So many different fish we didn't get to chase after that I wanted to. Um, so yeah, definitely want to get back down there again soon. So if y'all would like to see us, I'll go down there. Let us know in the comment section. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and we will see you on the next one. Bye guys, can you say bye? Bye. <laughs>